What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Hacky Tech Playground. And I really understand your pain. I understand how it is that you are lost in the tools for cloud security and, and cybersecurity at all. So it can be overwhelming to see all of these things on the internet, on GitHub, lying there, waiting for you to do some research. And because of that, I'm like trying to save your time. And we will talk about Prowler, which is a tool for cloud posture security scanning that will give you really nice overview of the configuration and security maturity of your cloud environment. And because of that, I think that the, we can deep dive in it and we can have some fun with AWS Cloud Shell, AWS Lambda and put Prowler there and see what we can do with that. So looking forward for today's episode. So let's play a little bit with AWS and with some like unconventional way how to deploy Prowler. So, uh, okay, I can switch to new console to have more fun. Thank you, AWS. And then what we can do and what I recommend you to do is to go to Cloud Shell. It will take a few minutes before Cloud Shell will start and it is pretty cool service. Uh, that helps you to, you know, to run Cloud Shell. You have an option to set up your Cloud Shell. So you can split it into two rows or you can split it to more rows. You can create new tab. So you can play with that a lot. And you have full control over how your window setup will look like. So uh, when you will go to settings, you can switch to small, medium, small, large, uh, light and dark, and you can enable safe paste, which means that you will verify multi-line text when you are copying before pasting. So I'll confirm this setup, but I will still hope that it will be readable for you. Maybe I will make it bigger just to we see here. This example font size will be bigger. And what we can do with Cloud Shell, you can download or you can upload any file you want. And that's pretty cool. So I will download specific file. And sorry, I will upload specific file because we didn't put there anything. And I will find my Python script or my shell script. So I'm uploading prowler.sh, which is simple shell script. So the file system upload, the problem already exists. Yeah, because I already did that during, I was testing that so you can upload yours. So when I will list all of my files there, you see the problem is already there. So I will use fine problem. And just to show you, that's a very simple script uh, that install all the packages. It works with your environment variables and then it will clone Prowler locally. So I can just go out from it, make some clearing and then go to Prowler. And here is where the, where the fun will start. Okay, I'll first need to install it. Prowler. Yes, this is a very simple way how you can install the Prowler in your Cloud Shell. Don't forget that Cloud Shell has limited session. So you have specific time to play with that. So it's not persistent storage. You have really nice storage to play with, but still this is a cloud shell for common operations to, to provide you a shell environment in your cloud. And it's also region specific. So, and now, as you see here, everything is satisfied. Everything uh, requirements are already satisfied. Everything is installed, which is good. So what I can do, I can go to directory with Prowler. And then the fun will start here. I can run Prowler and let's check the help. What you can do with this tool, it's so many things. You can specify a region, you can set up your profile for AWS especially. So you can specify your AWS profile. You can specific, you can select specific check ID, one or multiple checks separated by commas. Or you can specify the group ID to specify the group checks or you can filter specific region. You can also set up mode 
which is mono HTML JSON or JSON ASFF, which is AWS Security Finding Format or in JUnix XML or CSV. So you have also options to export your results in very nice readable HTML. That's something that's also worth explore. And very simple, you cannot like you can disable print, printing your prowler banner. That's also very good. You can specify account ID roles. So lots of and very cool thing. You can use Shodan API key to use extra check. So that's also a very cool feature for those who are interested in open source intelligence. So and this tool can do much more. It's like a cloud posture management in one very simple tool, which scan your environment and give you the results. So for, for simple usage, what I can do here is, okay, and I'm interested in one specific check and it will be check 44. And I will say, okay, the output format here, that's the mode here, will be for example json for me or i will say application security finding format or json json in application security finding format and i can send the results to security hub uh, with s parameter and also filter the findings on eu central where i am now and then hit enter so that's the simple way how I can run the specific check with a specific output in the specific region. Isn't that great? And what the check does, it's, it's ensuring the routing tables for the VPC peering are at least access. So it passes and no P VPC peering found. So that's the great thing on that. So, or I can say I'm interested in specific groups of the check. So I can say, okay, group, and I will select, for example, group three. And it will select, select group of the checks. That's also very interesting. And when you are doing some fine tuning on the timing and how long Lambda or any other environment with Prowler, Prowler should run, this is really great because you can basically specify on which you see that i have some uh, some problems with my findings but uh, so all my my patch finding operation but it's not allowed for for my user but this is fine i already didn't set up some things that i really don't need and also when i will go to security hub security hub i can go there and when I'm sending the results in the security hub, I can go to findings. And in the findings, I will see all the findings from, from my checks here under the product Prowler. So if you want to create simple filter for your product, so you need to go here and you need to find the product name. And product name is Prowler. And apply it. And then you will be able, for example, to prepare your basic insight in Security Hub, which is, for those who don't know, very simple dashboard for your security posture. So it's like a serverless cloud posture management slash dashboard slash views to your security. And what I want to mention also here, you have some really cool security standards out of the box that you can use. PCI DSS, Security Foundation of Best Practices, if you open that, it will give you a very nice viewpoint on security score, where you are failing, where there are no data, and, and really, really, really interesting things. And for some checks, you really need to have enabled AWS config. And before, you will start to use Prowler in your Cloud Shell, Lambda, or ECS, Fargate, which is like preferred variant based on the cost, you need to enable the integration. So Prowler, I will go here, and here is an integration. In integrations, accept findings from another services 
or from third party integration. You can also send the findings from security hubs to another integrations. That's really cool because you can send the data out of security hub to SIAM or any other data aggregation platform. And what you need to do is you can enable or disable accepting the findings. So I can stop accept findings. I won't stop. You see here, I need to confirm. But when you want to uh, accept the findings, you will just click, cl click on accept findings and you will need to set up for the role if you are running that in Lambda or in ECS, batch import to Security Hub. And that's very simple. It's, that will just provide you the role that you need to create or use. So that's a very simple way or simplistic way how to use Prowler in your AWS environment to create nice checks. You can create your own insight and to know what is wrong. And when you will go to check, you will see that this is from company Prowler, Prowler, but then you can click on the specific check and it will tell you if it is passing or not, what's the problem, what's the security label. If it is a problematic part, I have here a little bit smaller screen, so that's really hard to find it. Let's go to, for example, Backup Marek. That's one of my really bad accounts. I will go to this one and it will tell you on which resource it is and what are the related requirements with that. You see that in this region, this user, I know that users are not region specific, but usually it will tell you in which region their pro the problem is has password enabled, but the MFA disabled. And I have this user for testing. And also you can see the server label is high. So if you're interested in filtering based on the product and then based on the severity, you can also click here, compliance status uh, or the region, you can sort it out, severity and provider severity normalized original or label. And you can, you can select range or normal. And also uh, there should be a default severity original. And you can select the range from one to, I don't know, for three to six and apply. And it will tell you that there is no severity level because severity, severity is represented by numbers. So that's, that's very easy to, you know, to, to create your own filters. And that's so simple. And I really wanted to show you this today. And I hope that you like Prowler. And that's not all that you can do with that. We are here in AWS and we'll talk about Lambdas. Lambdas are pretty easy to run and pretty easy to build. And we'll talk also about Prowler, how to put this tool into Lambda. So let's, let's go through my solution. This is a very simple example that anyone can build. So in this function called the Docker Prowler US, I'm using the image. So you can use a Docker image in your Lambda. This is fantastic. This is pretty fantastic how you can go and basically play with Docker in Lambda. So you can also select your architecture. You can deploy a new image by setting a new image with changing the architecture from X to ARM. But this is something that I will not do today. So the very simple thing that we can do, we can override the Prowler entry point and also the CMD override. That means that you will run the command for our tool. Uh, what is really like a little bit tricky is the point that you need to separate every parameter of your Prowler installation with the with comma so that's something that you really just need to do you know it took me some time before i figure it out why it doesn't work what's the problem and it was here so and then you can also overwrite your work there and what i recommend for a prowler you can set up the event bridge as a trigger so you can say okay here is my time trigger i will go there and show you and you also see the next few you know schedules when it will run was the target and you don't need to say, you also need to set up the right permissions for your lambda to batch import your findings for security hub so 
we are, and when you, you can also test it you know i can create some test event and run it but before we'll do that i really want to talk about the configuration itself because i really needed to do some fine tuning i was building lambda layers and some runtimes to test various deployments how to run this create tool in the serverless environment so when you will go to you see here permissions you need to have dedicated role you also need to uh, set up the destination if you want to send the data somewhere uh, but what is super important is set up the right memory and ephemeral storage for your lambda and the timeout because the scan takes some time you really need to set up the proper timeout and also do some fine tuning in your like parameters for prowler because when you will look here at the image i'm scanning one specific thing in that tool and also you can send the data to security hub you can specify the output format you can also specify where it will be stored my lambda will fail because i didn't change the temporary storage properly but it will still do the job it will still run the scan it can still send the data and you really need to play with it with the exit codes with lambda if you want to implement that properly in your production environment so let's go to test and i will run test very simple one what it will do it will execute this lambda function this one specific check it will run it in a json and it, it should store it also in temporary uh, directory if you configure everything correctly and you can also run a monitoring around it so you can check output in cloudwatch and see what is happening inside of your lambda and when you see here on monitoring there are some cloudwatch metrics that you can set up you can also see the logs so it will take some time before you will see it. here is the recent invocation here I can, you have the log stream here so i can open the log stream and i can look in the cloudwatch what is happening here uh, you also can check here that there is this extra 73 there ensure that there are no s3 bucket open to everyone or any aws s3 user it's a critical finding it is telling you that you are passing and also it uh, in our case when i put it there it gives me um, information about what is my score where i fail and what are the total resources reviewed and how many checks are performed and then if there is another uh, another run it will tell you about that and here, if we will go here in the image, in the test, I think that the Lambda is still running. So it takes some time, but you see that it fails, but that's not the problem for today's demo because that's only about configuring proper exit codes. And you can also watch the output here, how long it run, what's the memory size, what's the duration. So duration in Lambda is a little bit longer, so you will pay a little bit more, but you can target these scans like based on specific events or specific schedules and when i will go to our cloudwatch event in the details you see that you can specify the cron job for it and that's something that's beyond cool that's something what is very great for your cloud security posture management so what are you, what are you thinking about that tell me and don't forget to mention your opinion in comments what is worth mention that there is also an dashboard on html so you can see how many of your findings are failing what are info what are passing i will click here on pass and you will see what what is passing what what is the account id what's the problem which is the what is the parameter that you run with this specific session what is the account what are the region what is the service so if you're interested in ec2 you can filter ec2 and it will tell you what is the problem or what is not the problem with your ec2 and which checks were run against your account so very simple and very nice way how to filter the data and you can also search so ec2 you know you can say okay i'm interested in something and you can search in your entries you can change also the paging for the entries so very great thing to explore in your free time or in your work or build upon that and also you can run it in ecs or any any other like deployment models that will be functional for docker containers or with the python environment if you want to know more about tools like prowler 
you can go to my DevSecOps library or Ultimate DevSecOps library on GitHub and I created a huge database or a huge library of the tools for the specific purposes. And you can check it out if this is something interesting for you. And majority of these tools or almost 100% is an open source. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit like and don't forget to comment. So looking forward for the next time that we'll talk together or we will have some fun.